11.48 in the morning. And uh, so technically I can say good morning, but we're not far off lunchtime. Um, Tyler, so the most expensive room in any home is pretty much the bathroom. And the reason for that is the cost of tiles, um, bathroom fittings and all the associated works. Um, and over the years, I've done some work in some uh, huge bathrooms with marble and and all that type of stuff. And you're just about like walking on eggshells so you don't scratch anything. It's quite a um, quite a process. So um, what we have in the, our very small home is our specification. So here's the student guide for the knowledge assessment, which is what you're really doing. And so first of all, step one, bathroom. Um, we've taken the easy way out because um, it just means we're going to say, rightio, all walls are going to be actually tiled up to the ceiling. So uh, floor tiles is detailed on plan one, uh, en suite, exactly the same. Laundry, we're just going to have a skirting tile, uh, 150 by 150, uh, but it's above the bench and the area of those 150, 150 tiles are 600 high, uh, right across the back wall. Um, and then we've got two other things that we need to actually look at, and that is waterproofing. Um, it is well worth your while to have a good understanding of how important waterproofing is. And so in the um, uh, Jiprock 457 manual, is actually a section on that. And then we need to actually work out the total area of wall and floor tiles. Uh, it's item 25 in the uh, takeoff uh, is waterproofing and waterproofing obviously square meter area. And so this ties in very well together with tiling. Um, item 26. All right, so we're going to get rid of the uh, snip image and it just saves me bringing up another folder and straight away, no, I don't want to save it. Here we have the bath area. Do not take any notice of that size. Remember, some numb nut didn't actually work. I reckon what he did is went 3130 minus uh, 1190 or something. It, it just, yeah, I don't know how he could do it. Um, so there it is there. That's a, the, our bathroom area, so it has a toilet, has the bath, and just for simplicity, we're just going to calculate the entire area, okay? Because even though you've got a bath there, you've got tiles around the top, and except visualize this as being 700 or so higher than the floor. And here we have the shower area, um, okay, en suite, exactly the same. Even though there is a vanity basin, we still have tiles that go right through the wall because it must be a seal. Uh, we do not have a bath in here. We've just got a shower and we've got an actual uh, WC there as well, water closet. And so there are our areas. So this is where all the sizes come from. And so you can double check that. Um, now what I'm going to do is bring up the sheet and already in here are the actual sizes of the room. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. Okay, you just times the two together and over here you can, I'll just do the very top one and just go right here. All right, 7.478. More often than not, most chippies they'll just round it down to two so instead of two three eighty nine of all things whether well, we would actually put in there 2.4 and here we'd go 3.2 um, that's a preference but there it is there I've done one you can do the other two and then ultimately at the end all right we'll just highlight that in red because it's a red total you should get something like that all right your job to do this one so this is floor tiles now we look at wall tiles now this is a little bit more complex so what we first of all have to do is calculate in for example 
in the um, uh, bathroom, the area of actual windows and doors. And so we have a window that's 1.54 by 1.810 in size. We need to subtract that from the tiles. Also, we have one door, which is 0.9 by 2.1. And that is a minus figure through here, minus figure. See the, uh, now you can actually work out the ensuite. Now, what you will also have to do with the ensuite, let's go back to the plan so that we're not actually mucked up in any way. Have a look through here. All right, you have got window nine. So go down to window nine, it's 2100 by 730. And you need to subtract that amount from the wall tile. You also need to subtract, okay, um, 720 in width by 2100 high for the doorway. Okay, so those are the two figures that come off of here and they become a negative amount of the inclusive wall area. Okay, so don't forget that uh, or else that will actually muck you up. So now we go back over here and you'll notice exactly what, like what I did here where I came up with a window uh, five door area. You may wish to shift this one down and actually include the um, the ensuite. Now, ensuite area is basically really uh, for wall tiles. You only, the only place we're going to have any tiles on the wall is above the laundry bench. Okay, so there it is there. Put your figures in, add them all up, and then you're going to actually put in a total square area of wall tiles all right simple as that now um, under every floor there is actually a fall that has to be created now the general accepted area is that approximately it's about one inch high so 25 mil is the screen so what we would actually do there are the three areas of the floor okay should add up to something around about there which would match this up here okay that's the reason i left that showing and then we times that by uh, 0 0.025 and in here you can put your amount of cement screed all right the only other really difficult thing is calculating how many shower bases and uh I'm feeling right up for it now. And I'll go there and just hit red. And we have two. All right. That's all that is required for tiling. Now, Excel sheet. Let's open it up. Okay. Waterproofing. Over here, uh, splashback. Okay. The area of the splashback. Waterproofing the wall, shower area. Okay, the ensuite, uh, waterproof the shower and the bath area, and put those square meters in there, and that will add up pretty quickly. And then over here, there's a PC allowance for floor tiles and a PC allowance for wall tiles. So you just put those two different rates in here, and the same two rates here, okay, which covers the labor for floor tiles and labor for wall tiles cement screed there it is there how many uh cubic meters okay it should be actually not square meters it should be uh or maybe i did square meters let me just double check that in case i um got that wrong let's have a look okay look over here it's cubic meters okay so what we need to actually have a look at all right, I need to change that in the Excel sheet. And I'm going to do that straight away. If you could do that to your sheet, all right, where we're looking at the um, the screed. There it is there. Tyler, go across here and just instead of M2, okay, M3, okay, cubic meters. All right, just hit enter. All right. Um, 
put those all into there. Now there's two shower bases and uh, one's for labor, one's for supply. And so basically you can actually put there, obviously you're gonna put two and you're gonna put two. And there we are. All right, that's all there is for tiling. Okay, so that's the last video for this week. And then next week, we've got a couple of little small little dinky ones, which I will probably put together um, in a sequence. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Um, that's all we have for today. And uh, have a great week. Uh, bog into it. Get stuck right into it because we're getting towards the end of semester. And I want as many of you guys to finish as humanly possible. Um, remember my famous formula, effort equals pass, okay? That's the deal, and you're going to have to put in a big effort so that we get this all finished. All for now, thank you. 11.59, we've finished before lunchtime.